Next up on our antenna build, let's get our wire cut the length before we go out to the field and tune and get the 10 meter segments attached to our car mercury frame. We have our different wire lengths cut here. Two wires for 10 meters, two wires for 20, two wires for 40. Make sure you keep these separate because they're really close in length. There was no need to bore you watching me cut wires, but I do want to show you my little trick for that. I go into my workshop, I grab a clamp, I clamp the two wire ends and a tape measure to my table and I walk back as far as I need to get the length of wire I'm trying to cut. Snip, rinse, repeat. What we're going to do now is attach our two 10 meter wires to the frame. We're going to wind it through the end of the frame, come up through this hole for strain relief, put a ring terminal on the end of it and then attach it to our screws through the frame. Before we do that, we have to talk some theory. This will be helpful to those of you who've never built a linked dipole or you don't really understand how it's working. I need to show you this. Some of you may not have purchased the car mercury kit and you don't have the very specific cut lengths that the car team recommends you cut your wires to. So I'm gonna show you how to do this and how to calculate this on your own if you're making your own linked dipole from materials that you sourced yourself. So you weren't fortunate enough to pick up one of the Coffee and Ham Radio's Mercury kits, or you're watching this video quite some time after it was sold. What do you do? How do you make a link dipole? How do you determine the lengths of the wire? Let's talk through that real quick. What you have is three lengths of wire on each side of your dipole. You have a left side and a right side. Here's the left side. So you're gonna have a length of wire for 10 meters, another length of wire that you add to get 20. 20 is coming from the combination of the 10 meter wire plus a second section to get you 20. And then a 40 meter section. You get 40 meters because you added the 10 meter section to the 20 meter section to the 40 meter section. But you have three individual cut lengths of wire. How long do you cut them? If you go online and look at a dipole calculator, you're going to get a calculation for a horizontal dipole. We're orienting this as an inverted V. So the lengths may not be precisely the same, so I recommend that you cut your wire lengths a little bit long. For 10 meters, you want a length of 16.48 feet right here. This is the full antenna length if you were going horizontal dipole. That means each leg would need to be about 8.24. Now, I'm right in the sweet spot of the general class phone section, so 28.385, and I'm doing the same thing on 20 meters and 40 meters. I'm getting right in the middle of phone for general. You would uh, go into your dipole calculator, put in the frequency you want to be resonant on, you'll get this full length, you'll get how long each dipole leg should be. Here's where you need to pay attention. On your 10 meter section, on each side, you're going to want a piece 8.244 feet. I'm cutting my wire to about 8 six. I'm doing that because I want it to be a little bit long and I'm going to trim it in the field. For your second length or for your 20 meter section, you need a dipole that's 32 feet 76 or each side on the left side would be 16.38, the right side 16.38. Well, you already have 8.24 from your 10 meter section. Okay, so you need to subtract 8.24 from 16.38 and you get 8.136. So it's the addition of these two that gets you your 16.38. So I'm cutting this second section 8.7. Because I'm going inverted V instead of completely horizontal, the, the lengths vary slightly. So how do we get our 40 meter dipole? Well, you need 64.24 feet or 32.12 per side. Well, you already have 8.2 and 8.1 for your 10 meter and your 20 meter section. You only need 15.74 additional feet. I'm cutting mine to 16.5. My goal here was to give a brief explanation for those of you who don't quite follow what we're doing. You're not cutting an 8.2, a 16.38, and a 32.12. You're getting these lengths by the combination of 8.2, 8.1, and 15.74. So in the instructions that come with the Mercury, the recommendation is that you go through this hole with your wire, go underneath, and then come back up through this hole 
and that is where you get your strain relief. And I've, I've checked it. It does provide some strain relief, but Chuck in his video actually wrapped it around here twice before he went under and came up through this strain relief hole. And that's the way I'm going to do it. So here is how the instructions show it going down through this hole in the frame, up through this strain relief hole. You would put your um, terminal on and then your strain relief is right here and, and it is working. It is providing strain relief. So that is satisfactory. But just for extra measure, I'm going to do what Chuck did, and that is he wrapped it through here another time. Now, I'm going to put way more wire through here than I need, because uh, that's what I want to do to give me plenty of room to get my soldering done, and then I will feed it back through. Okay, so here's my extra wire. Now I'm going to do that with the second leg. Wrap it through once second time come up from the underside through this relief hole we'll get our ring terminals on the end of these two wires and then we will get our frame done and ready to go out to the field let's go ahead and solder first up let's get our shrink tubing on the end of the wire Let's strip the wire. Bob's going to pretend because that's what Bob does. And that quick, we're up the temp. And there we are pre-tinned. Pre-tinning keeps your wires together as you put a terminal over top of them. And it helps to uh, receive the solder better when you actually go to solder it into the terminal. Grab your ring terminal, get it ready in your crimper, insert it over the wire which will not fray, and crimp. Solid. Solder. Perfect. She's still warm. So we will use our needle nose pliers instead of our fingers. Now what do you think we're gonna do? The magic of heat shrink. There is something just completely satisfying about this. I don't know why. Let's let it cool down. Let's see how we did. I've got my fat fingers out of the way in a second. I'm liking that, liking, liking, liking that. Just snug it up a bit. I'm going to leave my wire on an angle like that. Let's pull through the extra loop because this is giving us our strain relief. And there you go. That, my friend, is precisely what I wanted. I've got strain relief. I have no pressure back here on this joint on that ring terminal. That's perfect. All right. Let's do the second one and then we're done this part. That's still hot.
take out my excess, leave that loop right there. All right, here's the back side. It's my strain relief. And that's how she's gonna hang. Perfect. Love how that turned out. What do you think? Good stuff, right? Okay, one more part of this video before we quit for today. And next time you see me, we will be out in the field. So here's the other end of one of the legs of this 10 meter section. What are we going to do with this? Well, because we're not quite sure precisely how long we want it, we're, we're going to set it up temporarily. I'm going to take the recommended lengths provided by Chuck, KK6USY. I'm going to wrap this back on itself, and then I'm going to zip tie it. So here's what happens. Now what I have is a wire that I can hang with my carabiner, attach the 20 meter section to, attach the 40 meter section to, stake it in the ground, set it up, and test my 10 meter leg. I won't attach this yet to the 20 meter leg. We're just gonna test at 10 meters first. When we're happy with 10 meters, well, how we'll get happy with 10 meters, we will either shorten this or lengthen this, and by that I mean literally. If I need to shorten this, I will cut off this zip tie very carefully not to damage the wire. Pull this back further, thus shortening the antenna. When you pull this wire back on itself, you're creating a shorter antenna electrically. It doesn't matter that there's five inches or five feet of wire wrapped back on itself. The antenna is the length from one end to the other end, not from the cut end to the cut end. Hopefully you understood that. So it'll be from the frame to the end of this loop, not to the end of this wire. And that's how we make this shorter or longer. Then when we're ready to attach our 20 meter section, we'll do the same thing on our 20 meter side. We'll get it on our carrot beaner. Our 20 meter side will be going this way. We'll strip both ends of the 20 meter and the 10 meter, electrically connect them, and then that's how we'll test the 20 meter leg of it. You get the idea? I'll show you more out in the field. That's it for today, folks. Talk to you soon.